You ready? I'm ready, baby. Where are we going? Waskily Way! And it's my first ride in two weeks. I've literally only walked to the next town and that's it. Quite a big deal. Today's ride, Waskily Way. The best gravel route in the world. gravel trails up here. I've been there in the videos before but I know there's a lot of new viewers out there. Towards the end of this route is absolutely stunning. It basically takes you steady gradient all the way from Newcastle up into the Pennines. So a nice level effort into a headwind which does mean though slightly false flat downhill and tailwind all the way home which should be good fun. Daisy's first ride up here since we moved up. We've been on the road for about five minutes and we're already on these beautiful tracks so happy days. Sun's out, 10 degrees, basically summer. Remember on this bike there was a broken brake? Uh, yeah. And I never got broken. it fixed. No, it's fixed itself. Oh, magic, mate. I'm just thinking how we're going to get up this hill without a start. I do it the rigging. Oh, yeah, that was like 25%. So, this bit here we haven't actually seen before. So, uh, in the past, when we've come up north, we've stayed with Jimmy and Emily. And their place is a little bit further out towards the Pennine. So, we've got this whole extra section of uh, gravel, which is currently mud. It's what I'm used to. So, it's an extra bit added onto our ride, but it's just lovely. Look at it. There's a network of wagon ways. Well, clues in the name. It used to be used for wagons that they would transport coal. Since that industry has wound down, it's now just uh, open for walkers, cyclists, and whoever wants to use it. Get some horses along here too. Because it was used to uh, transport heavy loads, it's all really shallow. So on a bike, the steepest bits you hit is when you have to cross over a main road, and it kind of sinks down to deal with that. But the rest of it, super steady. Perfect for enjoying yourself and just getting places. And it's a giant network as well. You can pretty much get anywhere you want to, including Newcastle, nearly completely on this network of gravel tracks. In winter, not quite suitable for road tires, but a pair of light knobblies like these, perfect. start which has now turned into a big headwind because we're on top of the valley we're now in Derwent which is where we were yesterday for that uh, photo shoot in the rain so when we flick round probably free wheel all the way home can't get them off I walked through the field and I got loads of these things on me there's that video where someone tries to take it off their leg and then they it transfers to the other leg no they're not actually done oh, fuck. Ah! oh no I think we found a good spot to turn around, Daisy. Bikes are suitably covered in shit. I think this is a good spot to call it and then smash it all the way home. Done only well, 390, 390 meters. Meters? Yeah. See, I've, I've been working in feet for the last few days and I don't know why. What, what is that in feet? It's like three times the amount, is it? Talk Something like that. that. I thought that was a real cow. That's a real horse. So... Oh, it is real. I think so, it doesn't really move a lot. Oh, it's a horse. Not only have we got a stonking tailwind home, but we've also got huge descent as well. Loads of elevation to lose. There's only one climb, one climb just before we get back, which is quite steep. But as long as I don't mention it, it's fine. Shh, no one tell Daisy. Predictably, Daisy's just put her bike on turbo mode and dropped me. She's now a speck in the distance. Maybe she can put the kettle on though if she uh, gets home before me. Drivers legitimately give you so much room here. So much better attitude on the road. Comeback ride. It's hard. You killed me. You actually killed me. <sighs> yeah, but with the, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that whole route with the e-bike. Ever. What, all the way to the top of Waskily Way? Yeah, no, I won't be able to do that. We can get you the bottle extender, or we'll just do it on the other bike. <laughs> Told you my life was building furniture. Unless you have a girlfriend to do it for you. 
So this afternoon's task is to put together a piece of furniture for the turbo room. Uh, eventually this room's gonna have two turbo trainers in, one for me and one for Daisy. We only have one at the moment, so we're just gonna put together one desk, which should be a good replacement or alternative to like the desk that Wahoo make already. It's not gonna be as adjustable, but I think it's gonna be a good shape. And I took some measurements on my bike. It, it, hopefully it will be good and not an epic fail. There's only one way to find out. What is this called? Fitu, yes. Fitu, yeah. It's actually quite Fitu good. Fitu eyes. It's quite a good quality. It's actually quite a good quality. Best quality than that fucking... Most of the things I've bought off Amazon. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I'll take the sticky up. No, 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 because they're all labelled. Test. Mike is in. Daisy is tired. You look well at me. relishing in my efforts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's to me. Desk is Z-shaped so you can get it nice and tight to your front wheel and then you can still access all of your stuff. You know what? It's actually going to be really good for me because my... that bit is so long at the front. You'll probably be able to get your handlebars over the desk. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'll be able to have all the snacks like... And then everything underneath is kind of out of the way, so if you are steering, um, doesn't clash with the shifters or anything. That's well good. Ta-da! I do one ride in two weeks and I feel like I deserve a pizza. You do deserve a pizza. You put together all those desks. This will do me over for the next two weeks till I do a ride again. You get those two small ones, I get the two big ones. No.